it's, it's weird, this, how it happened. I was booked January this year to do a week at the Magic Castle in May. Right? So that was six months almost, pardon me, before I went. Billy died in the beginning of May and the week before I got there. Of all strange things. So I'm in Hollywood just after Billy had died. So we organised a lovely memorial day at the Magic Castle on the Sunday for him. It was terrific. Um, it really was, uh, oh, uh, a great day. And uh, it was packed, and messages from, well, everybody, you know, uh, mm -hmm. from Lance and from Penn and Teller, and a lot of them were there, and it was great. Now, Billy, this isn't, tell a lot of people know this, Billy left instructions that he didn't want to be buried or cremated as such, but it was to be in the hands of the Neptune Society, which we don't know of in England. But as you know, they, they take the ashes and scatter them at sea. Oh. I don't know if you know that, but it's okay. quite a well-known thing, I think particularly in L.A. And Billy had left these instructions. Now, the Sunday after I'd finished at the castle, they were going to have a ceremony by the Neptune Society on their boat, scattering Billy's ashes. Well, I couldn't stay for it because I had to get back to England. And uh, Billy's friend, uh, Annabelle Gray, said, oh, I do wish you could stay because you, you... I said, well, I can't do it. So that was fine. I said, look, do call me after the day let me know how it went. Well, they all gathered down at Los Angeles Harbour, the Neptune Society boat, and Annabelle, bless her, had got a whole case of Coca-Cola and six bottles of Captain Morgan rum, which was Billy's great favourite tipple. And I thought, we've got to send the old boy off for the real way he should go, and his ashes. And they took the boat out to just outside the harbour. Perfectly calm day. Everyone had got a rum and coke, you know, to dear old Billy, bless you, bless you, Billy. And they threw the ashes onto the water. It was ever so calm. And the ashes just settled there. And, uh, uh, the now, all, all the people were kind of getting squashed at that time? Well, no, no, this is the first. That happened later. But they were all drinking his toast. Suddenly, right through the water, through the top of where the ashes were floating, a sea lion poked his head through. You know what they look like? <laughs> yeah, they look was, like really somebody McCall. shouts out, Bloody hell, it's McCall, look! <laughs> oh, God. Hey, now, was, right, right now you should have, have the guy do... Yeah, uh, which of course broke the ice, and Annabelle said it made a wonderful day of it. We, oh we yeah, did, but they did Macomb stories. I just wish I could have been there for the old fella, but what a love! Oh, it, my best buddy of all time, without any doubt whatsoever. Yeah, that's great.